back with some of the most advanced military vehicles that will absolutely shock you. There's a series of tanks breaking new ground with advanced technologies, the most powerful firefighting machines you've ever seen, and some hybrid water vehicles you didn't even know existed. Say hello to Poland's newest futuristic stealth tank. The PL-01 light tank features a modular shell and is reportedly capable of providing protection in all parts of the hull and turret from standard enemy 30mm or 40mm armoured bullets. This tank is also among the first to feature stealth technology. Developed by Obram of Poland and BAE Systems of the United Kingdom, the tank is still a prototype and mass production has not begun yet, but this doesn't take away from its outstanding construction, which seats a crew of three. It's got a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Alternatively, the weapon station could be fitted with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, giving the driver a range of assault capabilities. The guided missile destroyer warship is in a class of its own. The USS Zumwalt conducted its first live fire test of the MK-57 vertical launching system with a standard missile in October 2020. It's able to detect, track and engage an anti-ship cruise missile threat with a standard missile or SM-2. Being the US Navy's most technically innovative ship, it has stealth and capacity to operate in both the open ocean and nearshore environments creating unimaginable battle space complexity for adversaries. With a 610 foot length and 80 foot width, Zumwalt possesses ample space to execute a wide variety of surface, undersea and aviation missions. Those cannons look intimidating, but fear not, the Big Wind is not actually a combat vehicle, it's just the meanest firefighting tank you've ever seen. The Big Wind made its big entrance during the Gulf War as retreating Iraqi soldiers left flaming Kuwaiti oil wells in their wake, and putting out burning oil wells is no easy feat. So a Hungarian firefighter team rolled into the rescue with this beast of a tank. Big Wind was built on the chassis of a Russian T-34 tank dating back to World War II, but instead of the usual gun turret, a pair of Tumansky R-25 turbojets were installed. They produce a water spray with about 27,000 pounds of thrust. That's enough pump force to easily knock over an SUV. Each of the engines is fitted with three water nozzles each, delivering up to 220 gallons of water per second. That's enough to fill a residential swimming pool in about a minute. Soldiers would lose their lives fighting over bridges, or had to go round for miles and miles just across small bodies of water with armoured vehicles. The modern M3 amphibious pontoon bridge solves all that. The M3 is the world's fastest amphibious bridge and ferry system, providing seamless land-to-water transition for both infantry and armed vehicles. A single component can be handled by a crew of just two soldiers. Assembled together, they can serve as a bridge or as a multi-bay raft, the M3 can carry loads of up to 85 tons. During the NATO Anaconda 2016 exercises, a combined German and British army operated the longest M3 floating bridge ever assembled. The 350 metre long bridge, consisting of 30 units, was assembled in just 35 minutes, enabling NATO forces to cross the Vistula River in Poland. The next hybrid vehicle is known as the Lund-class Ekranoplane, also known as the Caspian Sea Monster. This 302 foot long Soviet Ekranoplane is a boat and aircraft hybrid. The 380 ton aircraft was built during the Cold War with a 148 foot wingspan and 340 mile per hour top speed. Now that's faster than the Guinness World Record fastest speedboat and nearly as fast as a commercial flight plane. The military aircraft, designed to attack NATO nuclear submarines and aircraft carriers, first entered service in 1987. It was decommissioned when the Soviet Union collapsed in the early 1990s. The BMPT, also known as Terminator, is a Russian-made tank support vehicle which first entered into service in 2011. The necessity for the BMPT rose from the 1979 Soviet invasion of Afghanistan and the 1994 Chechen War. Most Soviet armoured vehicles could not elevate their guns enough to hit hostile troops in mountainous terrain. 
This led to excessive losses from hostile anti-tank weapons fired from elevated mountain terrain or multi-story buildings. A heavily armoured vehicle was required that could spot and neutralise hostile anti-tank teams and other troops. Missile warfare never stops, and the RT-2PM2, or Topol-M, is a Russian intercontinental ballistic missile with a range of 11,000 kilometers. That's more than the distance from Moscow to Texas. It's based on road vehicles or silos, which means it's mobile in its employability. The Topol-M carries a payload of up to 1,200 kg and is fitted with a 550 kT nuclear warhead. The Topol-M's re-entry vehicle is capable of making evasive maneuvers as it approaches its target. It's designed to decrease the chances of interception by missile defences, shielded against radiation, electromagnetic interference and physical disturbances like wind bursts. Next up, the Karmov Ka-52 Alligator Attack Helicopter, or known by NATO as Hokum B, is a multi-role all-weather attack helicopter that can operate day and night. Its development started in 1994 and was first used in 1997. Ka-52 has enhanced TV3117 VMA turboshaft engines. This, plus its two coaxial contra-rotating main rotors, make it among the most manoeuvrable helicopters in the world. With armour able to withstand hits from 23mm projectiles, pilots seated in ejection seats and ability to fly with one engine disabled, it's the helicopter for lowered warfare casualties. On top of this, Hokum B is designed as a command centre for aerial combat with its battlefield management system, allowing it to exchange data with many other types of helicopters. Meanwhile, the Puma IVF is alleged to be the most advanced infantry fighting vehicle in the world. Its air transportability, combined with exceptional agility on rough terrain and future-oriented expandability, make it the optimal land weapon system in international conflict management. The Puma even maintains its command capability in networked operations under extreme climactic conditions and inadequate infrastructure. This is enabled by the provision of interfaces for the command and information system, ally enemy target acquisition and infantry man of the future IDZ system. It's got a protected crew space for up to 9 soldiers but can run crewless thanks to its remote operable turret with a 30mm automatic cannon, coaxial secondary armament and MELS weapon system. On top of all this, it's able to reach a speed of 70 km per hour. Move over Iron Man, a real-life superhero tank has arrived. Meet the Abrams X, AI hybrid military battle tank, the newest addition to the arsenal of the world's most advanced militaries. The tank's hybrid propulsion system is a key innovation that combines a gas turbine engine and an electric motor to deliver improved fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. This makes the Abrams X both more eco-friendly and more cost-effective to operate. But it's the tank's AI capabilities that are truly groundbreaking. The Abrams X has the ability to operate autonomously or with minimal human input. This allows it to analyse complex battlefield situations and make split-second decisions, giving it a decisive edge over its enemies. The tank's advanced sensors include thermal imaging cameras and radar systems, which enable it to detect and track enemy targets, even in low visibility conditions. And its futuristic modular design allows for easy customization and upgrades, making it highly adaptable to changing battlefield requirements. As military strategists around the world take note of this incredible new technology, one thing is clear. The Abrams X AI hybrid military battle tank is set to change the face of modern warfare forever. Next up, the Pantsir S1 is a mobile, multi-channel, short-range air defence system which has high firepower and is able to effectively engage a wide class of air attack weapons. It's distinguished by the presence of combined missile cannon weapons, a short reaction time and the ability of a combat vehicle to conduct reconnaissance and destruction of air targets in motion. It can do this to the amazing effectiveness of, well, simultaneously engaging four targets. The Pantsir S1 is designed for air defence of small military and administrative industrial facilities and areas, including mobile ones, against fixed and rotary winged aircraft, cruise missiles and precision munitions, as well as for strengthening air defence units against massive airstrikes. <laughs> 